I've learned how to live holy. I've learned and I'm learning how to live right. I've learned.
build trust in that's old school the Lord I will trust let me hear in the Lord let me hear you say it I will trust come on in the Lord how long until I This Sunday's morning worship, where we gather to celebrate God's love and grow together in faith. We are excited to announce our new sermon series titled Love Unveiled, running from August the 4th to August the 25th. This series will explore four types of love found in the Bible Eros, Storge, Filio, and Agape. Each week, we will focus on a different love, highlighting its significance in our faith, and our relationships. Brothers and sisters, what is Eros love? Eros, as found in the original Greek, represents a passionate love, a love filled with desire, longing, and a deep emotional connection. It is not a fleeting passion. It is a yearning that goes beyond the physical and touches the soul. An excellent example of Eros love can be found in the Song of Solomon, where the beautiful and passionate exchanges between Solomon and the Shulamite woman illustrate the deep and the depth of identity of the fragrance of romantic love. Their relationship embodies a love that is both physical and spiritual, a longing that reflects God's design for love in our lives. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you today seeking to understand and the insight into the nature of love as it was intended to be. Open our hearts, O God, as we receive your word today. May we embrace Eros, love in a way that honors you and give us strength in our relationships. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
and amen, bringing the text to life, understanding the Greek meaning. Eros from the Greek signifies a love that is passionate and intense. In the ancient Greek mythology, Eros was a god of love, often depicted as a force that compels us toward connection. My beloved brothers and sisters, we must remember that Eros is not merely about physical attraction. It is about a deep emotional bond that reflects God's intention for love to be a powerful and transformative force in our lives. Now let's break the text down in three parts. Part one, the nature of Eros love. Eros love is a strong and consuming, uniting a fire within our hearts. It can lead us to experience joy and fulfillment unlike any other thing else. Scriptorial example. In the Song of Solomon 8, 6 through 7 NIV, we read, Place me like a seal over your heart, like a seal on your arm, for love is as strong as death. Is jealousy unyielding as the grave. It burns like blazing fire, like a mighty flame. This passage beautifully captures the essence of Eros' love. It speaks of a love that is unyielding and powerful, a force that should be cherished and nurtured. Part 2. Eros' Love in Relationships My love, beloved brothers and sisters, Eros love is not just a romantic relationship. It's about connecting deeply with one another in our marriages and partnerships. Eros love should be accomplished by respect, commitment, and mutual understanding. When we look at it in the Hebrew, in this verse, we see the love here that carries a weight of commitment. Eros love must be grounded in the principles of God's love, selflessness, and devotion toward one another. The spiritual dimension of Eros. Eros' love also points us to our relationship with the God that we believe in, the God of heaven, the God that ah, will come and see about you through everything that you're going through, the God that woke you up this morning, the God that said, mm, ah, everything's going to be all right. Just as we seek compassion and we seek the connections with one another, we're called to pursue a fervent Love like none other. Here we find in Romans 13 and 10 NIV. It reminds us that love does not no harm to neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. This teaches us that Eros love, when rightly understood and expressed, becomes a conduit for God's grace and truth in our lives. It should build us up rather then tear us down, reflecting on the nature of Christ's love for us. As we reflect on Eros today, let us remember that this love is a divine gift, designed by God to wrench our lives and our relationship in a world that is often distorted of love. We are called to embrace Eros' love with purity and integrity. Beloved, my brothers and sisters, true Eros' love is more than a mere desire. It is a passionate pursuit of connection that reflects our Creator's heart. May we strive to embody this love, allow it to guide our relationship and deepen our walk with God. Let's go forth with our hearts ablaze, loving one another as Christ has loved us. Jesus paid it all. him sin had left the crimson stain
hearts. The crowd. And that's what I hear, musicians. Give me some of that. I don't need a rock to cry. 